How many of you think about how God is pissed off? Some of us remember the story time that we used to have in Sunday school where we talked about Jesus turning over the coffers in the temples of the Pharisees. And we understood that Jesus was pissed off. We also understood that Jesus was really struggling with the fact that God was wanting him to come back to heaven. And he was really struggling with that in the, in the, in the garden. And he was really having that conversation. We're also quite familiar with the concept of transfiguration that God can do to people and that the devil produced in one of those uh, storylines by Mel Gibson of the tem last temptation of Christ, I think it was, or that might have been William Defoe, I can't remember. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. That basically what we saw was sort of an androgynous devil, which was sort of immoral in a way because of his perceptions on God. But I have to tell you that I believe that in this time of COVID, God is pissed off. I think God is pissed off at for me sometimes. But for the most part, I feel despite being homeless, despite being a traveling man, despite being an everyday worker in my own way to build my business, to find a job and to do things that God has put within me to be as and to do as my calling, that God is marvelously pissed off at everyone else. You see, if God is pissed off at you, how would you know? If your life is going on marvelously, then maybe God's not pissed off at you. Because, I mean, take a look at somebody like Joel Olstein or G uh, Joyce Myers or even some of the lesser known uh, travelers for the Lord in life that are producing good works to help people to grow in spirituality. Think about that. That is a mega church there in Texas, and I'm pretty sure he's got enough money to afford his life. So let's talk about your life. Is your life on track with God? And my guess is if you're still living in squalor, poverty, or you're living in the streets, or you're living in a shelter, or you're living in, in the day-to-day -day life of just outdoor living, and if you're like me, I don't mind it, and I sort of enjoy it, and I prefer being outdoors all the time, is true. But I'd still like to have a shelter like I once did, and I still would like to have a job like I once did. I'd still like to have re business revenue like I once did, and that makes me working as hard as I can in every area of my life, in every opportunity that I have, to try to find a working environment that makes sense for me, and an educational level that's appropriate for me, at a social group that is appropriate for me, and openly allocated for me by God. But if you're not in a lifestyle, if you're not in a life force, if you're not in a life group, if you're not in a proper mood, maybe God is pissed off.